Think of your brain and muscles as being connected by thousands of tiny telephone lines. Every move you make starts with your brain sending a message down the lines to tell your muscles what to do. Sometimes after an injury, surgery or prolonged activity, these telephone lines can become damaged or just inactive, like when a storm knocks out the phone services. When this happens, your brain's messages just don't get through to your muscles clearly, causing the muscle weakness, imbalance, and muscle atrophy, making it very difficult to move properly and alters your gait. This is when biofeedback and neurofeedback technology comes in. Imagine having a special device. They can light up these telephone lines, showing you exactly where the messages are getting through and where they're not. This amazing technology lets you actually see and hear when your muscles receive the message from your brain. Now let's try to understand the brain and muscle connection. Every time you move, whether you're lifting your arm or taking a step forward, your brain sends the electrical signal through your nervous system into your muscles. The signals are like text messaging, telling your muscles exactly what to do, how to work, how hard to work, and when to relax. When everything is working properly, this happens automatically. You don't have to think twice about it. But after injury, surgery, stroke, or prolonged inactivity that causes the muscle atrophy, this messaging system can become disrupted. It's like some of the text messages are getting lost or just deleted. Your brain might be sending the right signal, but the muscles aren't receiving them clearly or not receiving them at all. This is why sometimes after an injury, even though the muscle looks fine, it doesn't work properly. The problem isn't always in the muscle itself, it's in the communication between your brain and the muscle. This is where this amazing biofeedback and neurofeedback technology becomes wow factor. The sensors that were placed on the skin of the muscle, like a special detectors, they can pick up even tiniest electrical signal between the brain and the muscle. The signals are transformed into something you can actually see and hear like a video game. When you try to activate your muscle, you can instantly see if your brain messages are getting through. It's like having a superpower where you can actually see the invisible communication helping your body. Even if you can barely move your muscle, the sensors can detect your brain efforts to communicate with it. The real magic happens when you use this technology to rebuild these communication pathways. You can attempt to move your muscle, the sensors detect even smallest signal from your brain. You see and hear immediate the feedback on the screen. Your brain learns from the feedback, making the connection stronger. With practice, the pathways become clear and stronger, like upgrading from the old phone lines to the high speed internet connection. When you can see and hear muscle activity on the screen, something remarkable happens. Your brain starts forming a new, better pathways directly with your muscles. It's like your brain is creating new telephone lines to replace the damaged old ones, often making the connection even better and much stronger than before. This process called neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to rewire itself. Think of it like your brain creates a new road when the old road is blocked. At first, the new road might be a little rough and slow, but with practice, guidance from biofeedback, it becomes a super highway. Super highway for signals that travel between your brain and your muscles. What makes this technology so effective is that it takes something invisible, your brain muscle connection, and makes it visible and interactive, a video game. Instead of just hoping that you're exercising correctly, you can actually see when you're activating the right muscles in the right way. Let's take, for example, a stroke recovery. A groundbreaking study in neurorehabilitation 2023 demonstrated that stroke patients using a new biofeedback technology showing 60% improvement in muscle recruitment, 45% better fine motor control, 50% faster recovery of functional movement. 
One of the most remarkable aspects of this technology is its ability to enhance neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to form new neural pathways, new neural connections. Recent research in Neuroscience 2024 reveals that combining neurofeedback with traditional therapy increases neuroplasticity by up to 70%, leading to enhanced motor learning, improves muscle memory, better movement patterns acquisition, stronger neural pathways. One of the biggest challenges in trauma recovery is making sure you're using the right muscles. After 27 years in rehabilitation, I can tell you that one of the biggest challenges in trauma recovery is making sure you're using the right muscles. Often when one of the muscles is weak, your body tries to compensate by using other muscles instead. It's almost like taking a detour around the blocked road. So while this may help you short term in movement, it can lead to more problems later. Biofeedback helps to solve this problem by showing you exactly which muscles are working and which muscles aren't. This tiny wireless sensor can detect when you're using the wrong muscle to compensate, helping you focus on activating just the muscle that you need to work. For example, if you're trying to strengthen the shoulder muscles after the shoulder surgery, the sensor can show you when you're using your shoulder muscle correctly. If you're cheating by using your neck muscle instead, how to find and activate deeper muscles you cannot see or feel. It also teaches you the right timing and the amount of effort needed to move the arm. Your brain learns best when you can immediately see the results of its effort. This is why biofeedback is so effective. It's like having a skilled teacher watching every tiny movement and giving you instant feedback. This immediate feedback helps your brain quickly figure out exactly what it needs to do to activate the right muscle in the right way. Study shows that this technology helps people to reactivate muscles up to 70% faster than traditional exercise. It helps to learn to control specific muscles with much greater precision. It helps to prevent bad movement habits from developing maintaining improvement even after the sensors are removed. The best part is once your brain learns these connections, they tend to stay. It's like riding a bike. Once your brain learns, your brain remembers. Biofeedback technology simply helps your brain learn these patterns more quickly and more accurately than it would do on its own. Now, let's talk about the recovery after trauma and surgery. When muscles and joints experiencing trauma or surgery, they often shut down as the protective mechanism. It's almost like your body's circuit breaker flips off to prevent further damage. The recent research from the Journal of Trauma and Rehabilitation shows that this protective response can actually persist long after the healing, leading to muscles that remaining switched off despite being physically healed. It loses the proper movement pattern. It also develops a compensation patterns that perhaps sprains other areas, overloads other areas. It decreases the confidence in using the affected area. Studies show remarkable difference when the biofeedback is used in post-traumatic recovery. 65% faster return of muscle activation after the major surgeries. 73% better muscle strength recovery in trauma patients. 80% reduction in compensatory movement pattern. And 45% shorter overall rehabilitation time. That's remarkable. Another groundbreaking study of 500 post-surgical patients shows that those that use biofeedback technology regained a muscle control an average of four weeks faster, experienced 60% less muscle atrophy, reported 70% higher confidence in their recovery, and had 85% lower rate of re-injury. Another great area where we can use the biofeedback is the smart workout specifically with biofeedback technology. As I mentioned before, biofeedback is rapidly changing how we approach the exercise and muscle training in general. Traditional workouts often fall into common trap. While you may feel like you're working hard, you may actually be using the wrong muscles 
to do the task. Recent research in sports science shows that during common exercise, up to 40% of people use their neck muscles, for example, instead of the shoulder muscles. 65% compensate with their back muscles when they're doing the ab work. 70% fail to properly engage their deep core muscles in the exercise routines. 80% use their strong side to compensate for the weaker side. Here's how the biofeedback technology transforms your workout. The EMG sensors, just like this, act as a spotlight, showing you exactly which muscles are working. It alerts you immediately if other muscles are trying to take over. It helps you to find and activate muscles that are hard to feel. Ensures balancing workout between left and right side. Just think of this as having a master trainer watching every fiber of your muscles, showing you when you're using the correct muscles, warns you the moment you start to compensate. It guides you to maintain proper forms throughout the entire movement, and it helps you to progress safely to more challenging exercise and activities. One of the biggest challenges in rehabilitation and exercise is avoiding compensation when other muscles jump in to help because the target muscles is weak or is not responding properly. Now, research shows that 85% of patients develop at least one compensation pattern during the recovery process. These compensations can last for years if they're not corrected early. Compensation often leads to new injuries in other areas. Traditional exercise method catch only 30% of compensation patterns. Using the EMG biofeedback technology, we can detect the compensation the instant it begins. It shows you exactly which muscles are trying to take over. It helps you to focus on isolating the correct muscles and it guides you in maintaining the proper form through the entire movement. Recent clinical studies demonstrate that using biofeedback for compensation prevention results in 90% reduction of unwanted muscle activation, 70% better isolation of target muscles, and 80% improvement in the movement quality, 65% faster achievement of proper movement patterns. This amazing technology creates a visual map of the muscle activation, meaning you can actually see which muscle should be working. You get immediate feedback if the wrong muscle is activated. It helps you to learn how the proper movement should feel, and you develop lasting proper movement patterns, which is important for our biomechanics. As I mentioned before, this precise control is essentially important because bad movement pattern can become permanent if they're not corrected early enough. The compensation can lead to new injuries in other areas. Proper muscle isolation leads to better strength gain. Correct pattern reduces the risk of further injuries. Chronic compensations can lead to new injuries in other areas, and proper muscle isolation leads to better strength gain. Of course, correct patterns reduce the risk of further injuries. As you can see, this amazing device has a lot to offer. And you would like to learn more? Please. Click in the description of the video below.